My name is Myra Rodriguez and I am driven. My name is Amanda Gibbons and I am unstoppable. I am Jessica Smith and I am adaptable. My name is Olivia Leskinen and I am happy. My name is Chelsea McKinney and I'm passionate. I am Vanessa Thamavangsa and I am bold. I am Valerie Mastalka and I am driven. I am Lenisa Bannister and I am intentional. Leslie Minching and I'm never satisfied. I'm Melanie Carnegie and I'm tenacious. I am Stephanie Bond and I am a warrior. I am Sue Tui and I am wired to win. My favorite part of my job is watching my team be successful. It always is so much fun after we've been working on a project for a year or more to finally see it come to life. The relationships that I've been able to build um, in my roles with Lennox, whether it was a store manager and now a territory manager. It's collaborating with the businesses to help solve problems and drive better outcomes. When I began my career, I did not imagine I would be a leader in a male-dominated profession because I didn't consider industries to be gender-specific. When I began my career, I never really thought about whether or not I'd be working in a male-dominated industry or not. I think since most industries tend to be male-dominated, it was kind of an assumption that no matter where I went, that would likely be the case and it would be okay, I would find a way to be successful. One piece of advice that I'd give my younger self is to work hard. Work really, really hard when you're young, when you're not tired, when you have the time. Go above and beyond then because that's what really sets your work ethic. It's what builds courage. It's what gives you the momentum and pace as you go into your career. Rise to the challenge and push myself harder. Run towards the things that you're afraid of because if you're able to overcome those challenges, you'll end up being more successful than just doing things that were safe and that you knew you would be successful when you started them. Learn to speak up sooner, to have courage in the room and not be afraid of what the outcomes might be. One of the biggest challenges I've faced as being a woman in my role is simply being the first. I'm the first Director of Technical Support at Linux. One of my biggest challenges has been to break gender stereotypes and to never limiting yourself and pursuing what you want. One piece of advice that I would give to other females in the industry is embrace those moments when you're the only woman in the room. Lean in, the sky is the limit and go for it. Challenge the status quo and stand up for what you believe in. Advocate, advocate for females, hire females, promote females, stand up for females in the workplace. The best piece of advice I've ever received is to take positions that help you see the company through multiple lenses. Think about your career like a jungle gym. It was something that I heard Sheryl Sandberg say, and I think the point is that you shouldn't always think about trying to move up the ladder with every role, but how do you embrace new challenges and enjoying the experience as you go? Be myself, and to the right person, that's all that matters. I think the most significant barrier to female leadership is time. I've seen amazing progress throughout my career, and I know for some of you it may seem like it's too little and it's too slow, but have faith and have patience. We've come a long way. The advice that I would give the next generation of female leaders, there is no glass ceiling. The only ceiling the one that you put on yourself. Stop telling yourself no, tell yourself you can and just get after it and do it because you can do it. You can do anything. You know, don't limit yourself and shoot for high crazy goals. <laughs>